So the problem is coming in because if we go to like.php here, you will notice that we are telling it to like a post and then later on we're telling it to follow the user. So if, so this always happens, like post, and then it's followed by, in case it's a profile, we follow, uh, we run this function as well. So because we've put add notification on this one and on this one as well, we are getting a fake one here when it's a user and the original one here. So we have to find a way to reject this one if the type is user, which is this type right there. So that is an easy fix if we go to the user.php. Oh, no, actually, like post is inside post.php, so that's where we go. And I want to put an if statement because we have type right there. So when type is user, we don't do this. So I'm just going to say if type is not equal to user. So as long as it's not user, then we're going to do this. If it's user, we ignore. So let me close this up here and let me do the same thing. Copy here. Since we have a second one down here, paste. Let's close that up tab. Okay, so let's see if our magic has worked. I will delete these two. Okay. Only one row is affected. Delete the second one as well. Good. So let's do the following and unfollowing again. Bam, bam. So let's see now if we're still getting the other one. So this is all good now. Now let's go to our notifications. You, so this is the issue here now. You did something to your profile. You supposed to be followed. So now the question is, did I follow my own profile? No. Let's go to here and see. So that is the content ID. And so it's giving me the same exact thing here, which is uh, not good because at this point I'm following somebody else's profile. So it got my original name correctly, but it didn't get the other profile correctly. So. Let me select here and see, okay, the value of the ID is being supplied. So something is up. So here, if we go to this fault is inside the user.php because this is where there's follow uh, user. So let's see what we are supplying inside the like, follow user. So we are supplying the ID. So this is the thing that's missing. And this is my session id so i need to get this first parameter here so let's go to user.php the first parameter is id so let me copy that and id is the one that should be on content id and content owner so copy that let's move down to our if statements Okay, there are no if statements in here. So we just write at the notification here. So single post. So it means we are getting the wrong post here. So I should replace that with ID so that it gets the different post. Same thing here. Paste, great. So back here to our, and delete the last entry. So let's retry again, unfollow and follow. 
let's back up so now at least we have different values here so let's go to our notifications and see so you liked your post wait a minute okay so the reason it's not showing is because i don't own this content so it's not showing me because that's not my profile so let's log out and go to the other profile so we can see the other notifications so mary piri something your profile mary piri liked your post so if i click here it will take me here but if i click here it won't know where to take me okay so mary liked your so the followed part is not working so let's go to single notification.php So that was my bad. I should have put follow here, not followed. If activity is equal to follow. Mm -hmm. So this one followed your profile. Great. Now, the only thing is we have to create a link for when somebody follows. So if it's profile, this is where it is. Bam. So instead of single post we are going to this person's profile and then the id is going to be the content id as simple as that so refresh so mary piri followed your profile right boom but now it's taking me to my profile to see how many numbers are here but i think it would be more useful to see who this mary is who followed me because this is my profile already. I already know my profile. So I would rather see the person that followed me. So we can easily reverse that because the person that followed me is the user ID in this case. So let's change this to user ID. It's that simple. So this one followed me. So I'll click to see who it is. And this is the one. She also liked my post, so if I click on there, this is the post she liked. Okay, great. Things are looking up. So now the thing is, um, instead of saying liked your post here, what we could do is if the post has an image, you can say your image. And that is very easy to do if we come down here instead of uh, content type so what we could do instead let me echo this and say image like that so let me remove that okay so what we will do is put an if statement here and say if content type is equal to post so if it's a post we know okay and then let's put an else statement so of course if it's uh, not a post let's just put whatever it is up there whatever the content type let's display that but we could use image if it's a post and let me duplicate this again and push it up here so let's put another if statement and say if this doo -doo 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 -doo, if this uh, Okay, so this will require that I actually query the, the content itself. So I know that the content is a post in that if statement. And what I want to see is the content ID. So to do that is easy. I will say post. Let me go back here at the top here notifications to check if post is already instantiated and good enough it is so no need to do it here as well 
So I'm simply going to say content row is equal to post. Take care of the capital there. Yeah, if you use the capital on the other side, post uh, get. What is that function? So let's go back to the class, the post class. So I can see that function is called get um, get one post. That's what it's called. Terrible naming convention there. Get one post. And we will get it from the content ID. So let me copy that and paste it here and say content ID. Content row. So once we get that post and check if content row, we are checking for has image. If I am not mistaken, let me go to my posts. Uh, it has image actually. So if it has an image, then we will do one thing. If it doesn't, we will show the other. Okay, so if it is an image, let's echo image. Uh, do I need that? Maybe not. Let me move those here. Okay, so a little bit complex, but uh, this is how it look like. So let's see what we will see. Okay, so Mary Perry liked your image. That's much better. Mary Perry followed your profile. Much better. Let's log out. Let's go as Mary. Let's go here and see how things have changed. So this one liked your image, your image, your image. So this is an image for you. That's an image. That's an image. You liked your image. Your image. Okay, so that's great. Now that we have the content in our possession for the image, we can actually show a little bit of that image here and we'll do that in the next video.